Yow, what's up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. It's my cat is like attacking me for love. You just want love. You just want love. Um anyways, we're getting ready to go here with uh Dunning Kruger effect first uh amateur hour, I believe is uh the name of their opponents. And uh let me check our hi honey. Hi. We are on Koth Ram Jam right now. And then uh, later we got Koth Brazil coming up. And uh, let's check the uh, uh, s rosters here as well. DK, a pretty stacked roster. HNG, DK Josh, DK Carl. Actually, let me just go ahead and switch us. Hi, honey. Yes. Arr, oh, God. Um, let's just switch to name. Yep. Okay, there we go. So just to make sure I don't forget later. HNG, yeah, DK Josh, DK Carl, Jordan, and Metaway. Over on the other side, they got six players right now, but I don't think one of them is Stan. Robot, DJ, M something, Delta, uh, Magic Man, Zombie, the Fat. My, my scoreboard is not wide enough. Yeah, get out of here, cat. Uh, but uh, we should be getting going pretty soon here on Ram Jam, and uh, I have seen Ram Jam in the, the uh, Highlander setting, and it works out pretty well. Um, and I, I think we should have a lot of fun here uh, today as well. So, Dunning-Kruger effect, definitely a very talented roster, coming from um, Platinum Highlander. So, you know, it's, it's pretty good. Pretty good credentials. And uh, Carl and his team representing the Seattle area. Carl, the current um, uh, Cascadian Cup champion, backed up by Whistling and uh, Gizmo actually on that team as well. And uh, I forget who the fourth and fifth was. I think we gave him a ringer too. You guys had pals, so that's bogus. That's bogus. Anyways, we're getting started here, finally underway on this uh, matchup between Dunning-Kruger Effect and Amateur Hour, kicking off the West Coast's uh, other group, and uh, they'll see who they get to uh, play up against the Portland Burnsiders or Chewy Wee, Chewy Wee and Friends, DK Josh, he, he, that's why you missed a couple jumps at the beginning there, because he's rocking that Beggar's Bazooka, let me uh, get us on view models here again, ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. And uh, right now they're doing uh, pretty comfortable here up against the <coughs> Amateur Heroes, Amateur Hour, sorry, Amateur Hour. Yeah. This is going to be a, a tough game against Dunning-Kruger Effect. DK, definitely the favorites in this group, without a doubt, if not the favorites for the entire West. Man, I just got cat hair everywhere, all over here. Dang, girl. She is shedding like a beast. All right. She is a beast, technically. Yeah, well, one zero for DK right now. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see Josh up here. Oh my God, gets the bottle. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, um, considering that the medic is there with the heals. Red's just gonna get a respawn. And they're like, let's just bring Josh back up. H and G looking for some snipes here. Let me actually double check back here. Yeah, demo man and engineer were banned. That's why those glasses are missing. Spy and uh, well, one team's running a pyro. Um, Spy and, and, and no. Sorry, sometimes I'm clueless over who, who else we're missing besides Spy and Sniper here. I guess it's Spy and Pyro are on, on uh, different sides here. I'm engineer. I, I am I'm blanking. We get Spy. That's what it is. Spy, Pyro, Sniper are the, are the three classes kind of rotated between there. Jordan doing the Criticola here, now moving up and uh, taking the Shack here. Can't really find any targets with it. Now he sees where they all are. Should be able to help his team kind of focus their damage over there. Taking Josh a little bit of time to get up in there. Oh, Jesus. Cat. Victory. I'm sitting on my phone, I think. There we are. Jesus. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. It's probably getting business calls. Yep. Yeah. And I can't, I can't, I can't deal with business right now. I'm dealing with business right now. Dealing with <coughs> arena respawn. All right. Now I've sent my text off. 
All right. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get back to the game as DK currently crushing things up 3-0. Looks like they're going to be pulling out the fourth round as well here. There we go. Sorry, updating my little scorecard there. 4-0. Four, 4 Four DK right now. We'll see if they can get the perfect game sweep here. They do got Carl has switched over to snipe or to, to sorry, spy. Jesus, terrible. And right now, DK Josh just getting bigger bazooka madness. And without the engineer, you know, this is tough. Uh because there's no uh, there's no short circuit. So definitely Baker's Bazooka becomes a very strong option. Uh, ooh, somehow they accidentally ended up with two heavy weapons, guys. <coughs> <coughs> that is not legit. And, uh, well, one of them's going to go down. And uh, I don't know if he'll sacrifice. He almost should just sacrifice, but it's it's kind of pointless anyways. Uh, they should capture, yeah, at this point, just to get the, uh, the double capture time going. I think they're going to be like, what? You had a heavy weapons guy. So I just say Fists of Steel against Beggar's Bazooka without the Engineer, and then um, just stick with, uh... Yeah, they still have two heavy weapons, guys. What's going on there? Okay, there we go. They, they switched off. They fixed it up. Yeah, somehow, with the respawn, sometimes that gets mixed, messed up. Um, and they've switched up their classes quite a bit here. Uh, they got Zombie Boy on the Spy, and uh, Magic Man 1243 on the Sniper. DK Josh, though. And if they can get the Pyro Reflex, but they're just having a hard time finding good positioning on this map as well against the, the power house that is DK. And at least this will probably be a pretty quick, um, a pretty quick demise for Amateur Hour. Whoa, I don't, I don't know what he is surfing off of. But, uh, Josh doing all sorts of craziness right now. We're gonna get the capture here. I don't know why it's not letting me pull up my scout bind. Zombie boy. Oh, he's got the cloak and dagger. Oh, man. Hopefully he doesn't try to make this last as long as humanly possible. This would be an unnecessary extra 30 seconds. But, you know, they're going to lose anyway, so it's, it's not too big of a deal. Oh, there! now's your chance. Now's your chance. Ah, oh, you missed your chance. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. Wait, I don't know what this dude's waiting for. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. No. There you go. Well, one more round. If you go Cloak and Dagger again, then uh, you're almost just sacking the, the beginning of the round like that. Uh, it's it's just not it's just not the best use of your, your spy time in this like fast-paced arena respawn match. And uh, they don't even have a medic right now. Okay, that's what they're also not running over there. And, you know, that's a possibility, but uh, they seem to be pretty, pretty res resigned to their doom on this one. Yeah, there we go. H and G, making things happen. Let's see what Josh has got up top here. Oh, just loading it up, loading it up. Oh my god! Oh, nice bombs from Josh. Something to watch out for in the future here. Next matchup for DK. Which is, after group stage, seems pretty likely it, it might be the Burnsiders. And that's going to be 7-0, getting the Mercy Rule time limit and crashing my game. There you have it. Switch us over to something interesting. There we go. Let's take a look at the schedule real quick here. See if we can find one other interesting match coming up here to... Uh, um, to cover four or five stars versus money supposed to be starting pretty soon here. Um, as is stacks for stacks versus champagne and can uh, cocaine could be kind of fun. Um, but also we're figuring we're figuring this out. We're figuring this out. Oh, stack for stacks forfeits first map against cocaine and champagne. What about the second map? Uh, so we're going to get an update here from Kairos. Um, 
and um, get another match on the docket here. I guess I better just fire up my TF2 just in case. Let me drop a link to where results are being uh, listed. If you guys want to check the scores across all the divisions, not quite updated yet with the results of that Dunning-Kruger effect match, uh, but they were crushing it. With Stack for Stacks conceding the top match. Um, I think that might I think that might do us. I'm interested in it and seeing the later games from uh, SDMD uh, versus Dunning Kruger, but unfortunately, that's quite a bit down the line. And right now, I got I got things to take care of. I gotta I gotta get some pho. I think that's what I need. I need to get some pho. Um, let me go to the second cat here. Let me click. Yes, both cats on stream, ladies and gentlemen. We have done it, and Clarence isn't happy about it. Are you, Clarence? Meow. It's like, what is that? Look right there. Meow. Talking to the camera. Yeah, that's what she says. Meow. <coughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for tuning in. I am Eckstein, and, well, we will see you next time. Which um, we have a, a UGC co-branded co cast with the EVL TV guys on Monday. Um, also, that's uh, 6:39, uh, 6:30 Pacific, 9:30 PM Eastern. Also, tomorrow day, I'm gonna be running down UGC Highlander with my boy Stabby Stabby, uh, sticking that knife in there, twisting the knife, and uh, breaking down, you know, kind of what's been going on with UGC Highlander. And that's uh, the MM1 FM morning show. Um, I'll be streaming that to our Twitch, and uh, you can also find that on mm1.fm, which is a rad app for esports news. You get breaking news like this morning. I woke up and I was like, "MC has retired from StarCraft." No, uh, but um, hopefully he'll get back on that horse at some point. MC, yeah, boss toss. Um, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be having more Arena Respawn uh, back at you Tuesday night for sure. Um, nine, uh, probably tune in around like 9 30 PM, um, Eastern. Try that out. We might be starting. Oh God, it's going through my shirt. Um, uh, try that out. We might be on a little bit earlier, a little bit uh, after that. I think our, uh, bracket times in our schedule for, uh, that, that phase of the tournament is a, a little bit more set in stone than I am quoting right now. Um, but, uh, we're excited to see the finale of the West, uh, West division and the East division, see which teams are the, are the top there. And then those teams will face off next Thursday. So very excited about all of that. Thanks for tuning in today. We had a, a good time, uh, breeze through several matchups in, um, you know, hour and 40 minutes. I, I think that's a success. And, uh, with that, I'm going to sign off and get some delicious broth and noodles. I am X9. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.